Welcome back to my channel, my three and me. This is my second busy binder. I have a two, four, and six year old I'm homeschooling this year. So we need a learning binder slash busy binder, whatever you want to call them. They have different names. Um, these are some of the materials that we have that we use with, with this busy binder we made. So I'll go over it really quick and I'll post links as well. All of this was off Amazon. Um, we have these base 10 blocks. So we have the 1,000 block, the 100s, the 10s, and the 1s. These are hard plastic. Um, I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the foam ones. So we have these. We don't, you don't have to get these. These are just what I'm using with it. Um, and everything I put that is in this book, I did not pay for. It's all free. I did not make the worksheets. I found them off of websites. And I'll post all the links below to everything we have in here. Um, we have money I got from learning resources. There's fives, tens, and twenties too, but I didn't put them in here. So I laminated the ones. And then we have quarters, nickels, pennies, and dimes. In there. Then these are word blocks. to um, You connect them to make words. Like my son was making the word two. And all the vowels are red and the consonants are blue. And there's also pictures in here too, if I can find them. So like say you wanted to make, sorry, I'm trying to find it, the word um, milk. So you put this and you would add the word milk with it. Okay, so you can do that for letter building, word building I mean. And these are the counter bears. They like, they have a few activities, we use these in here too. Also right before I jump into the busy binder, this is how I store my Velcro dots. I just wanted to share it. I just have a takeout container and I either like keep this down to the table or I just use it like this. It's a lot easier to get to them because I, I Velcro dot. I like have a Velcro problem now, now that I got a laminator okay, and then a laminator and Velcro pad, pouches. All right, let me move up this all out of the way so I can do this. All right, so I got this cover, I made it, it was free. I have this cover because that's her last name. Um, anytime you see this, it's just because our personal information is in it. So where in the world do you live? I got this out of our beginning geography Evan Moore book that is all, that's reproducible so I can make copies of it. And it has name, street, city, state, country, continent, and planet, so we do that. Um, right here we have, I did this out of the book too, just like, there's like two or three things that are from a book. Okay, and then a compass rose for learning north, south, east, and west. I got that out of there. Okay, and then this right here is from spelloutloud.com. My phone number is, and we have her phone number, which I took it out. And a lot of these have like the old phones. I like that these ones have a smartphone. So she just practiced writing her number. She knows our phone number. She's my first grader. And then we have, this was upside down. This was an accident. Um, so yeah, it's um, red, blue, yellow. And this was on mrprintables.com. Okay, and then we have today is the days of the week, months of the year, the day, and then 2020 and 2021 it goes up to um, the weather and how you feel. Okay, so I'll post the link to this too. We're doing homeschool and we open this up all three of my kids and do this every day. Here she's working on long and short vowels. This is from an Evan Moore book. Um, so she just makes lines to the long A and short A's. And the same thing here with her E's. Okay. And then here I got this off of LessonPlanDiva.com. It's silent E words and not silent E. So I just printed two of this worksheet. And then the second one I just cut out the word bank. And so made Pine Mad Knot. Okay. So there's that. She's working on this stuff this year. So I made a lot of things that she will be working on. Then we have nouns and common and proper. Same thing. What is a noun and then what's not the noun. Common and then proper. So uppercase and not uppercase. We have contractions, which she'll be working on. 
Okay, so like do not, don't. Okay. And then we have tracing and numbers one to 20. Then we have um, skip counting by two. She's gonna be learning how to do this this year. So it goes up to 120. We have skip count by fives and skip count by tens. Then we have even and odd. I didn't get a chance to add the word bank yet. So that's that. Some of this, they're not. it's not gonna be in order because this is very well played Mom. with. We have the totschooling.net Okay, go ahead. Um, the solar system. So they like doing this. Earth, Venus, and Mercury, okay? Then we have our continents, which is also totschooling.net. I don't really expect them to know all this yet, but it's a really fun worksheet, I thought. I really like totschooling.net. So there's that, North America, South America, Africa, and Antarctica. They really like doing this. Next, we have the butterfly life cycle, which you got on Iowa Homeschool Mom. We're gonna be learning about um, life science this year. So um, we also have another worksheet that will go with this. Okay, so we have the life cycle of how butterflies. Okay, then we have, who's my mother? I mean, are you my mother? Sorry about that. Matching baby and mother animals. So we're gonna, do, I'll do one side with you. We have kitten, cat, dog, puppy, dog, chick, hen, calf, cow, and duckling, duck. Okay, and the same thing with this side. My daughter really likes the paper dolls and the, um, the app where you dress the dolls up. So I thought it'd be really fun to add this in here for her. I only have the Velcro dots on the clothes. So like I said, I did the same thing. I made two sheets. So we can dress her up and over I'm, and over again. And I'm the daughter. All right, all right, all right, come on. Okay. So we can just keep dressing her up. But I have three axles. Yes, you do. Go ahead. And then we have the little girl. And another doll. Here we have patterns. So this is where the counting bears come in handy. So blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, and blue. And this is from Tot Schooling. Okay, so we do the same thing here. Next. Okay, and then we have the same thing. And then here we have 10 frame counting cards. Place the correct amount of bears in each 10th frame. So we'd put the seven red, okay, and then eight blue. And also here, if she wants, we can, we can do the bears and we can also use this to talk about the frames. Then same thing on nine and 10. Here's the coin sorting. So this is where we would get out our coins and then we would sort them in the right column. Here we have the piggy bank, which is top schooling, and you can match the coins on the piggy. And on this side, it's a little bit harder, and it just has the um, amount they're worth. And this is from top schooling too. All right, and then these she just um, can sometimes use if she wants to, if she wants to make words in any part of this, so sometimes she does that. All right, and this was my daughter's busy binder for first grade. I hope you enjoyed. I'll post all the links. If this video was helpful at all to you, please subscribe and like my video so I know I'm doing a good job. I'm a new YouTuber. My kids are two, four, and six. I have three busy binders, so if you're interested, I'll have separate videos for the two other ones. All right, and thanks for watching.